Good evening, sports fans. Welcome to Sports Panda on this Sunday night, November 16th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. Let's start you off at Locus Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana, where the New England Patriots and Tom Brady squared off against the Indianapolis Colts here. And take a look at the score in summary here. Jonas Gray, four yard run. And Guskowski's kick is going to make it seven to nothing here in favor of the Patriots. And Adam Vinatieri, 31 yard field goal drive to make it 7 3 Patriots in the first quarter. And then Jonas Gray, again a two yard run to make it 14 3 in favor of the Patriots. And then Akeem Nix, 10 yard pass from Andrew Luck to make it 14 10 Patriots. And Tom Brady had a rough first half. Two intercepts in the first half. And Boy, Bill Belichick was furious at halftime, but that grilling paid off as Tom Brady and the offensive game got back to work as Tim Ryan, a two-yard pass from Tom Brady, and the Pats make it 21-10. to 10. And then Adam Vinatieri booms a 53-yard field goal to make it 21-13 Patriots in the third quarter. And then Greg and a two-yard run to make it 28 13 in favor of the Patriots through three quarters. And then Anthony Costanzo, a one yard pass man, do luck as Benetary kick is good. 20 20 Patriots in the fourth quarter. And then Jonas Gray, again a one yard run. That's four touchdowns for Jonas Gray. For 199 yards, 38 carries, four touchdowns here as it's 35 20 Patriots and the Patriots. Sealed it with a Rob Gronkowski 26 yard pass from Tom Brady. Thought he was going to tackle it, but he rolled over the Indianapolis defense and leaped over to the end zone as the New England Patriots defeat the Indianapolis Colts 42 to 20. As now they improved their record to 8 and 2 in the season. Tom Brady had a rough first half, but battled through adversity and learned from the sticks as he came out firing on all cylinders in the second half. As he had 19 for 30 for 257 yards, and two touchdowns, and two interceptions. Andrew Luck, 23 for 39 for 303 yards, and two touchdowns, and one interception. As next up for the Pats, they will be in Detroit for a date with the Detroit Lions as the Patriots and Lions play next Sunday at Gillette Stadium, not Detroit. Okay, take a look at other scores around the NFL. Chicago Bears over the Minnesota Vikings, 21-13. Houston Texans over the Cleveland Browns, 23-7. At Brennan Falcons, Zeke out a window to Carolina Panthers, 19-17. Cincinnati Bengals over the Storm Saints, 27-10. Tampa Bay Buckners over the Kent, over the Washington Redskins, 27-7. St. Louis Rams over the Denver Broncos, 22-7. San Francisco 49ers over the New York Giants, 16-10. Kansas City Chiefs over the Seattle Seahawks, 24-20. San Diego Chargers over the Los Angeles Oakland Raiders, 13-6. Arizona Cardinals over the Detroit Lions, 14-6, and Green Bay Packers all over the Philip Eagles, 53-20 here. As we're going to take a look at the standing so far. Okay. With that win, the Patriots are now 8 and two on the season. And Denver is seven and three. Is they own the tie break over Kansas City? Indian Naples falls to six and four, and Cincinnati at six three and one. There you have it. The AFL EFC standing picture, even as we speak here, as if the season were to end the night. And the playoffs were to start today. The Patriots have a one seed in the American AFC throughout the season as New England gets the one seed, Denver to get the two seed, 
Cincinnati with a three seed, Indianapolis four seed, and Kansas City five seed, and Miami the six seed, and San Diego, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Cleveland in the rearview mirror, Houston, Buffalo not far beyond, and get the NFC, Arizona one seed, Detroit the two seed, Philadelphia the three seed, Atlanta the four seed, Green Bay the five seed, and Dallas the six seed, and San Francisco and Seattle in the rearview mirror. Here, well, um, Brady learned from his first staff mistakes. By firing an all soon in the second half. And how about that? Break it says the Pets. Square up against the Detroit Lions next Sunday at Gillette. Okay, take a look at NHL action here with 6.53 left in the third period. Arizona Coyotes lead the Edmonton Oilers 2 to nothing with 6.53 left in the third period. Winnipeg nipping. Minnesota Wild over the Winnipeg Jets 4 to 3. San Jose Sharks blink the Carolina Hurricanes 2 to nothing. Montreal Canadiens over the Detroit Red Wings 4-1. Chicago Blackhawks over the Dallas Stars 6-2. And Florida Panthers over the Anaheim Ducks 6-2. In NBA scores, Golden State leading the Los Angeles Lakers 125-89 with 9-34 left in the fourth quarter. New York Knicks Bucks over the Denver Nuggets 109-93. Milwaukee Bucks over the Miami Heat 9-184. Houston Rockets over the Oklahoma City Thunder 69-65. And another sports news there. Kevin Harvick wins the Ford Ford and Disease, the NASCAR Sprint Cup champion. One year ago, the place North Anvil team went to the goal in January was Seattle's Central Link Field, where the Seahawks won twice on the way to the Super Bowl 48 as the Green Bay Packers inspired FIFA Lambo visitors. Sean Hill got his job back finally, then he got the best of Peyton Manning after eight weeks in the bench. The gentleman was ready. Number one, Kentucky rallies after trailing Buffalo at halftime. The San Francisco Fortnite had a bit of a problem with Amon Brooks and Happiness. We'll see how. The team and Brooks will be figuring out the situation. You can't just get away with being banned in Washington, D.C. You're banned in D.C. That's a scandal. Reports leaked and people start asking questions before long, too long. Everybody is calling for a change as did Robert Griffin, three throw teammates under the bus, fall and blow up loss. Missouri defeating Valparaiso 56-41 as Tech as a Tails shows improvement as number 10 long was improved to 2-0. Federal Drug Enforcement agents showed up on an Sunday to check at least three visiting NFL teams' medical staffs as part an investigation of former players claims that the teams mishandled prescription drugs. In UNC, rollover, Robert Morse, 103-59. And that's me for the sports run of this November 16, 2014. I'm signing out. Pay away, say have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow right after the Celtics Phoenix Suns game from the Garden. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. How about that, Yes!